once again yet another lesson on capacitors and level physics paper 2 I'm Tchakos and in our previous lesson we looked at verifying that capacitance is proportional to A epsilon out of D capacitance is proportional to area proportional to epsilon which is the permittivity and inversely proportional to the plate separation that was using a gold leaf electroscope and a DC supply want to look at the same using a different set of apparatus and that is using a vibrating reel switch circuit I know those who have followed the previous lesson now the circuit is not new to you and also this circuit is always composed of that the real switch circuit here then we have a DC supply the voltmeter to measure the voltage across the capacitor and then of course this is the capacitor we can say that these plates are at the separation the separation D okay this is a high resistance it is to protect uh, or especially the, 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 the sensitive current meter this galvanometer and the whole thing in case of any challenge so it is this the resistance to, uh, pro to, to, to offer the kind of protection and then we have this switch we call it a real switch K this one that will make contacts at X and Y and you realize that whenever it, it makes contact at X it will charge this capacitor when it, ma it makes contact at Y it discharges the capacitor now what happens as usual when this setup is allowed to begin when you switch on you activate this real switch circuit at a suitable frequency f that will mean as it vibrates this switch k will make contacts at x and y respectively at high speed meaning whenever it makes contact it charges this one when it makes contacts at y it discharges it through this galvanometer that will be recording the current i that is flowing and now you remember that current is charge times time which becomes charge times the frequency because 1 over t is the frequency and but charge is cv therefore current will be equal to cvf and we are saying that this frequency is suitable and constant so it does not change this voltage is constant so it does not change so what changes in these two cases it is the capacitance of this capacitor that can be made to change and then that's the one that will affect the current i meaning that when there is any change in the capacitance of this capacitor we shall have to, to realize a change in the current that is recorded by the galvanometer and that means when there is the capacitance is high the current recorded will be higher that means in our experiment we don't have any device that is used to measure the capacitance but we have a device that is used to measure the current but we realize that once current is high then that means the capacitance is also high because mathematically it shows that current is proportional to the capacitance or capacitance is proportional to the current thank you for getting that great point there are five this is the principle of our experiment that when current increases then the capacitance has increased thank you for taking that other strong point as well that's the second one now there we go as we did in the previous experiment using a, a gold leaf electroscope we do one practical at a time so let's see show that capacitance is proportional to to a so what happens of course these are capacitor plates with area a so we can change the area by making them slide over each other as i showed you yesterday as i showed you that you can make our capacitor plates slide over each other for example we make this one slide in this direction okay here all the area is effective 
when you slide some area is not effective, when you slide little is effective, and finally there is no area in contact. Okay, so that's what we are talking about. So uh, these are our capacitor, uh, capacitor plates, and that's how we shall do. So now we shall keep this distance d constant, the separation, okay, and we shall keep air between the capacitor plates. So our variable is only the air. So we reduce the area in contact as I have shown you. And as far as, as long as you reduce the area, you realize that the current recorded will also reduce. And as you increase the area again, the current recorded will increase. That means that capacitance is proportional to the area of overlap. We get a point, we move on. To show that capacitance is proportional to is inversely proportional to D. So what do we do? Now, similarly, we are making we, we shall keep now the area constant and we leave air between these capacitor plates. So what do we do? We keep changing by increasing the D and reducing the D. That one is very simple. We have looked at it over time. So this distance can be increased. Can be increased. You take this one half, you bring it back. So as you increase the distance, you keep on increasing the distance, you realize that the capacity, the, the, the current recorded is, re is, increased, is reducing. As you increase the distance, the current recorded is reducing. That means that current is inversely proportional to the distance. Meaning capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance. Similarly, when you reduce the distance, reduce the distance, you will find that you are recording a high level of, of capacitance, of, of current, which shows a high level of capacitance. Meaning that capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. That's how we do it. As we did it like yesterday, so we shall now uh, do this experiment. We make D constant and A constant, we record I, and we call it I1. When there is only air, there is air. Then, you insert a dielectric between the capacitor plates, insert a dielectric, and then you also record the current, and you record and this current I2. And it is found out that I2 is greater than I1. Meaning that the capacitance is more when there is a dielectric than when there is air. That one also shows that the capacitance is proportional to the activity. You got the point? Thank you for taking it. Now, I think we need to, to, to write something. Okay? We need to write this. So, uh, let me wrap here so that I can keep putting some notes here. Yes, and don't forget that our channel is back BAC, back, back, back science education consultants. One of our contacts is there. In case you need our help, we are there. Uh, we provide a lot of educational uh, services. Just reach to us, you will get all that you need. So the lead switch, the read switch K. Is activated at a constant suite of frequency f. The capacitor is charged and is charged by k making contacts at x and y respectively. What did I say? That the red switch circuit is activated at a suitable constant frequency f. The circuit, the, the, the red switch k makes contacts at x and y respectively thus charging and discharging the capacitor a constant current i is recorded by the galvanometer where i is the q dt a constant i is recorded by the galvanometer where i is the q dt which actually becomes qf which actually becomes CVF because you know that 
charge is CV. And since V and F are kept constant, then the capacitance C is proportional to the current I. Then the capacitance C is proportional to the current I. This is the principle of the experiment. This is a principle of the experiment. So, to verify that C is proportional to F, that's the first experiment that we are doing. To verify that capacitance is proportional to A. So, what do we do? Air is kept between the capacitor plates and the separation D is not changed throughout the experiment. Air is kept between the capacitor plates and the separation D is not changed throughout the experiment. The red switch circuit is activated at a suitable frequency F. The red switch circuit is activated at a suitable frequency F. Comma. The capacitor is charged and discharged by K, making contacts at X and Y, respectively. The switch, the, the red switch K is activated at a constant frequency F. The capacitor is charged and discharged by K, making contacts at X and Y, respectively. The current I is recorded by the galvanometer. The current I is recorded by the galvanometer. Another new line. It is observed that when the area A is kept on being increased, it is observed that when area A is kept on being increased, the current I recorded increases. The current I recorded increases. And when the area A is reduced, and when the area A is reduced, the current I reduces. New line. This shows that Capacitance increases with area of overlap. This shows that capacitance increases with area of overlap, i.e., capacitance is proportional to A. Capacitance is proportional to A. Two over five that capacitance is inversely proportional to the separation between the plates. You cannot be safe unless everyone is safe. My campaign is please stop, help stop the spread of COVID-19 and please help stop the spread of HIV AIDS. As a student, the measure is very simple. Social distance. Both have the same Prevention that is perfect. Social distance. You just keep social distance and you tell me that you get HIV. We need to be healthy. However, in case you have it, that's not the end of life. There is even a better life after that. But it can't go back to the original. So please, when you don't have it, don't say even those have they have a better life. No. That better life is better than what is not good but for you can have the best life in case you make sure you don't get it 
and the solution is the password is social distance these other measures that I hear people talk about mm -hmm. go and try it on your own you make experiment on your own and on yourself and anyway keep safe we want to show that capacitance is inversely proportional to the separation of the plates so what do we do I have talked about it so I'm not repeating air is kept between the capacitor plates air is kept between the capacitor plates and the common area A is not changed throughout the experiment air is kept throughout air, air is kept between the capacitor plates and the common area A is not changed throughout the experiment the read switch circuit is activated at a suitable frequency F The capacitor is charged and discharged by K making contacts at X and Y respectively. The capacitor is charged and discharged by switch K making contacts at X and Y respectively. Thus, a current I is recorded by the galvanometer. Thus, a current I is recorded by the galvanometer. Or stop a new line when the plate separation is kept on being increased when the separate separation is kept on being increased the current I recorded by the galvanometer G the current I recorded by the galvanometer G keeps on reducing keeps on reducing and when the plate separation D is reduced, and when the plate separation D is reduced, the current I recorded increases. The current I recorded increases. New line. This shows that plate separation is inversely proportional to capacitance or oh, this shows that the capacitance is inversely proportional to the, se the plate separation i.e. that capacitance is inversely proportional to the plate separation and lastly we want to Verify that capacitance is proportional to epsilon. The common area of the plates and the separation D are kept constant throughout the experiment. The common area and the separation D are kept constant throughout the experiment. With air between the capacitor plates, with air between the capacitor plates, the galvanometer reading I is recorded. The galvanometer reading, call it I1, is recorded. A dielectric is inserted between the capacitor plates. A dielectric is inserted between the capacitor plates, and the current recorded by the galvanometer is noted as I2. And the current recorded by the galvanometer is noted as I2. It is observed that I2 is greater than I1. It is observed that I2 is greater than I1. Which shows that the capacitance of a capacitor increases 
when a dielectric is pressed between the plates, which shows that the capacitance of a capacitor increases when a dielectric is pressed between the plates, i.e., capacitance is proportional to this. And when you combine this, this is one, this is two, and this is three, it's the same capacity. So when you combine them, capacitance is proportional to A, is proportional to this, and is inversely proportional to D. Okay? So finally, get that. Hence, capacitance is. Proportional to A, proportional to epsilon, and inversely proportional to inversely proportional to D. We are moving the journey together. And now we want to compare the permittivities, and therefore we are going to the relative permittivity. So we can simply uh, rub here. And we just have another experiment. Just have another experiment that is determination of dielectric constant. We also call this one relative permittivity. How do we determine it? By the way, we want to use this red switch circuit again. We want to use uh, the red switch circuit again, and then you will see how we are able to determine it. Actually, from now, from this one, because we know that that directly constant, by definition, what is what is it by definition? It is the permittivity of the medium divided by the permittivity of free space, okay? Or permittivity of virtue. So if I can get any medium and I get its permittivity, I divide it by the permittivity of, of air, then I have got the dielectric constant. But we don't have any device that we are using to measure the permittivity. Just like we didn't have a device to use to measure the, the what? The capacity, but we measured the current. So look at this. This is what happens. We are going to use the same setup, and after using the same setup, we are going to record the current I when there is air. That's to be the same I1 when there is air. Okay? And then we, are also, we shall also insert that material whose directed constant we want to determine. We insert it between the capacitor plates. And we shall also record the current I2 when there is that directed. And how do we now create the two? This is what happens. We had that I is 2F which was actually CVF. But we know that capacitance is A epsilon out of D. So this is A epsilon out of D, then V, then F. Meaning, here, where we had air, this will be A, the epsilon will be A epsilon not this one. Permitted of air, then V, then F, then out of out of D. Then here, the permittivity will be the permittivity of that medium that we are calling epsilon. So it's A, epsilon, V, then F, then out of D. Let's get, if I can call this one A, I call this one B. Let's get B out of A. B out of A, 
gives us this I2 out of I1, then this out of this, A psion VF out of D. We are dividing by this, let's multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of this D will be up, this will be down. So times D out of A epsilon naught VF. You realize the same A cancels, the same V cancels, the same F cancels, and D cancels. So that we shall remain with I2 out of I1. I we have remain with this out of that. So meaning that I will I want this, but now I, I only have the values of this. Therefore, to get the relative permittivity after performing that experiment, what do I do? I will just say that the relative permittivity, the direct constant is the current recorded when that material is inserted between the capacitor plates to the current recorded when air is in between the capacitor plates. I have that. So how do we do? Determination of directed constant. We take some note. The vibrating root switch is activated at a suitable constant frequency f. The vibrating root switch is activated at the constant suitable frequency f. Okay. The capacitor is charged and discharged repeatedly by the switch K, making contacts at X and Y respectively. Remember, this is the same circuit that we are using. The capacitor is charged and discharged repeatedly by the switch K, making contacts at X and Y respectively. With air between the capacitor plates, ha, you hear that. Eh? Just return to that. Eh? Ha. That's why I like physics. Physics, you are so good. With air between the capacitor plates, the galvanometer reading I1 is recorded. A new line. A dielectric is inserted between the capacitor plates. A dielectric is inserted between uh, the capacitor plates while keeping the separation D and the common area constant. The reading I2 of the galvanometer is noted. The reading I2 of the galvanometer is noted. The directory constant is got from this one equals I2 out of I1. The directory constant is got from that. How do you put that? Not, not, with air between the capacitor plates, with air between the capacitor plates, I1 equals this, and write this. It's done. With the dielectric, the, with the dielectric between the capacitor plates, record this. I two equals that. With dielectric between the capacitor plates, I two equals that. And then perform this.